Ponyos, Andy, Andy Vlogs, doing a vlog here. It's late at night. This is the only time I could do it when there's no children around. Nonetheless, uh, we've got a TV stand that I'm gonna put together that actually has a fireplace. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> I've been meaning to get one of these things. We've gone shopping for the last month or two to get one. And finally the right price at the right time, this thing showed up. And so I'm gonna put it together and show you guys how to do it. This is the 54 inch in-framed media electric fireplace. The Caulfield Collection Vintage Warm Oak Home Decor Collection. You can get the instructions on this app called BILT. Download the free app to get the instructions for a 3D guide, I guess. Or you can just watch me. Okay, take M and get CC. This is CC, these little guys that screw in. Oof, this is going to be hard to screw in. M associates with the attachment crossbar. This is what occurs on the back and you're going to have to get dowels and CC, which are those little screws, and you're going to plug them in to each one of the appropriate slots. This takes some time, it's not easy. Uh, I'd get a screwdriver to do it. Once you get that array, you're gonna then start priming your dowel holes with the provided glue, and then you're gonna put dowels in halfway. You don't wanna push them all the way through, that's never good when it comes to dowels. Oh my gosh, too much. Once you do that, you're going to take H and attach it to B with the dowels and glue. Use the glue sparingly because you're going to be gluing in probably 50 dowels by the end. Okay, section five, uh, we've got the attachment crossbar done. Let's go ahead and attach the center shelf. So I'm going to need to take B and obviously H and I that I just put together with all those pegs. And now we're going to put them together here. Okay, so we went ahead and we attached the center shelf. These little lock in mechanisms are important that you use. And you wanna make sure that all the stickers are on the inside. Okay, now we need to glue in dowels. Okay, we're gonna take G, F, D, and E. G, F, D, and E. So you got these little guys. F. D and E. So we're going to put a bunch of dowels in here with, with glue. 
So in this section, you're actually creating the base that you're gonna be placing the frame on top of. You're gonna be using these very two long pieces and the two short pieces to create the 54 inch length of the base. This is not an easy part. This is where I recommend that you're using the majority of your glue as you're doing the dowels in. Once you've glued each dowel in place halfway through, then you're gonna be put the, putting them together with this weird screw and hinge array. It is not easy. Take your time here and make sure that you use a screwdriver that has a long enough bit because it's a very, very narrow connection. As you can see, I'm connecting the side pieces first on these small little pieces, which is easiest, and then I'm going to be attaching the long pieces simply by these tiny little screws. I actually made a mistake here. As you see me placing the other side in, I'm trying to pull it back. And as you see, it's starting to bend and break and push up against our carpet. And, oh, shh. Frick. and unfortunately the screws broke through the particle board and it cracked. It wasn't a huge setback. I was able to fix it, square it back up, and I poured a little bit of the glue on top of it to solidify the cracks because, well, it's particle board. And then I continued on my merry way. Perfect, okay. This is the most difficult part of it. This was not easy to create this square, and I know that this is not a right angle here, but the way that this uh, connects is not, it's not good. I already cracked it here and I had to re, reinforce it with glue, so that's not fun. Not fun at all. Okay, so that was a nine. That was seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Now what I have to do is, uh, I need to grab C. You're gonna be taking C and you're gonna be placing it on top of that square that you just built. This is gonna create your base for your fireplace. So here you're, you're obviously going to be getting your dowels, you're going to be getting those screws that you have to screw in and placing them individually. It takes some time. Okay, now we're on step 11. We had to flip over C, now we need to take A, and we need to put stuff inside A. Okay, now we got to go get a bunch more of these C's and interconnect them. Okay, now we're gonna grab L and glue the wood dowels into L. All right, now next section, we're going to put L on A. This piece on the right is gonna be the top of the fireplace. Once you've done screwing in that little tiny piece with glue, then we're gonna work on actually building and framing it out. You're gonna take B, H, and F, I believe, that partial box, and you're gonna be connecting it to the base of the fireplace. Again, you're gonna be using those screws that are odd looking CC, and you're gonna be screwing them into that circular lock and joint mechanism. Okay, so we've got the first part in, put it together. Number 17, 15, now we're gonna attach the sides of we need T. T are the side panels which your doors will be locking into. You're gonna be putting together dowels as well as CCs in order to connect it together. Here I am putting the side panels in and then putting the top piece on. This was a little more tricky. This is the hardest assembly part, in, you know, getting the side panels, the middle console, and then the top all aligned together with the CCs and the locking mechanism and then screwing them taut 
It was not easy, it took me some time, but once you do, it'll look like this, and you'll be able to stand it up straight, no problem. Okay, now we're going to be drilling these plates on the back. So I've got P, P, and Q. P, P, and Q. Put that here. Put that here. Okay. Here's P. This next session definitely requires some finesse and some patience. You're gonna be screwing like 25 to 30 little tiny screws into the back of the unit. It took a bit. I definitely recommend using an electric screwdriver and then taking your time. I did hurry through this a lot. A lot of my screws didn't go flush. It is a little bit difficult for the screw to grab onto the wood because of the surface being so slick. But ultimately, I think you can get it done. You just gotta take some patience. You just gotta work at it and go and take your time. I didn't. This is actually what happened. You gotta live life with no regrets. That's what I do. That was hard. Okay, we're getting close. 19. QQNPP. QQNPP. Q Q N P P. Oh, that's really weak. Q Q N P P are the hardware used to screw in the handles of the doors. So that's what I'm doing here, putting in each handle, and then I have to put the doors on. This was a little bit tricky. It took longer than I thought because each hinge had two different screws that you had to screw in in order for it to obviously open and shut. But then there's that threshold for how far away you want the door to be from the actual place. And so it took some finagling, but I was able to get it and I was able to get the shelves in pretty simply as well. Next up, placing the fireplace in the center console. Okay, so we've done this is the last bit. This is where the fireplace comes. Now we're gonna insert it into the place.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and screw it in. Last thing to do is place it in the center. There's some guide points that you'd installed previously. And then you have this last piece where you actually have to use that 90 degree triangle to screw in the screws to fasten it secure. Well, Pongyos, it's done. We finished it. It did take over three hours. I didn't think it would take that long. Here it is in all its glory. It's really good with that full fire and the uh, lights on top. Looks pretty good.